The Food Patrol exposes rodents and roaches at a valley kitchen. Mm. Gross. Who does the owner blame? Everything else but his business. Okay. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. What can a top performer sticker do for you? Sabrina Sanchez uses them as a guide to help find the clean restaurants. They're doing something right. Restaurants that score zero demerits on a health report earn a sticker from the Food Patrol. Chris from this subway on 369 North Texas Boulevard in Mercedes saw a spike in customers after he scored one last year. Increased sales and everything, you know, so very good. expecting now from that shiny new 2011 sticker? I'm speechless. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The stars on 104 North Alamo Road in Alamo received sticker success in 2009, 2010, and now in 2011. How the heck are you keeping it that clean? That's, that's what we do. On the flip side, what can high demerits do for you? Arturo Gomez flat out avoids kitchens that earn them. Disgusting. Owners who receive them, come on, let's go get them, can't even hide the fact they're embarrassing to score on a health report. How did you feel when you saw that on the inspection report? What? It is not nice. Seven Mile Express on 7907 West Mile 7 near Mission is a low performer. 24 demerits the score, not on the menu, improper thong of cooked foods, off-temperature foods, rodents, and <coughs> roaches. Their droppings listed on the inspection, not to mention a mouse that ran out of the kitchen. One of the owners inside claims the violations were a fluke and quickly cleaned up. No, this, this is the first time uh, they, it was noticed all the before, all the times it was 100% uh, passed and we have no problems at all. Huh? That statement isn't true. The Food Patrol contacted the health department. Seven Mile Express scored demerits in each of the last three years. One time was 18 demerits. As for the roach poop and mouse during an inspection, the owner blames nearby construction and calls the area around his store sloppy. So it sounds to me like you're not taking any blame at all inside this building. No, it's from outside. Demerits or a sticker? You decide. Keep it clean. And congrats to these additional top performers. In Los Fresnos, you have the Hungry Heifer Bar and Grill, Mel's Diner in Rio Hondo, Pizza Hut, Taqueria Zamora, Buzz Burgers over in Elsa, and Jack in the Box as well. Subway in Brownsville, El Papa's in Port Isabel, McDonald's in Harlingen, South Barbecue in Mission, Leroy's Chicken and Burgers in Ed Couch, McDonald's on South Padre Island, Peter Piper Pizza in Palmview, and the Jack in the Box in Whataburger on Conway in Palmhurst. Very good. Remember, kitchens keep it clean we're reporting what's not on the menu hey food patrol fans can get an inside scoop on valley kitchens before it hits the air right on my facebook page to find it just search ryan wolf i'm chatting with viewers right now